fancy coffee? I'm still under. Could have done with more notice. Hey, and, and we need to make an effort to spend more time together, too. I'm not having a go. What is it with you two? Long story. A good listener. No, uh, we're just not getting on great at the moment. Really difficult to be around sometimes, so we end up sniping at each other. What? Told you I was a good listener. Absolute state of you. <laughs> um, thank you. <clears throat> Get back to work if you're done. Decent. You said nothing. Get back in that bedroom. Yeah, I said something. <sighs> oh, come on, we've got time. Yeah, pick up Lisa and we'll talk about the other later. Are you sure you don't want to? Right. Hmm. Why not? Look at him. He loves himself more than anyone ever could. Hi. One of us has got an admirer, and uh, it's not me. What are you doing? Hey. I'm having a rum and coke if you want one. Come on, gorgeous. Take me somewhere more interesting. Don't mess around, do you? Not anymore. Thanks for leading me astray last night. Oh, the pleasure was all mine. Mum's been trying to call you. Load of sheep was out. She needs a hand. You can tear yourself away. Oh, decided to show your face then? I've been trying to get a hold of you all morning. We've had sheep escaping all over the place. Sorry, my phone went out of juice. If you want to keep your job, keep it charged. Oh, hi, Amy. Welcome back. Thank you. I need to go and check on some sheep. Don't just sit there, make it a brew. So what brings you to Butler's? Go where the work is. Travel from place to place. I've not been long back myself. I spent a few years in Belfast. Never been. We'll put you and Kane together. I was young and daft. Still are. Young, I mean. Well, how are you getting on in the caravan? Why? Oh, I was just wondering. Well, there's loads of space at mine. Now, Layla's staying at David, so if you ever fancy knocking on, I'll make a mean cup, huh? All right? Yeah, you. You free for another drink tonight? I'll probably be too knackered. OK, but I'm going to keep asking. And you can ask as much as you like. Right. Have you cut the grass in the top field yet? As soon as I have my dinner. Uh -huh. Why don't you go and warn them off? Nah. Well, he puts himself about. He'll soon move on to someone else. Hey. I saw you with Amy earlier. What's spying on me, are you? <laughs> Outside the shop in broad daylight. Another notch on your bed post. Eh? Hey? You're getting quite a reputation. What? Keeping count, are you? You're a young lad. I'm not passing any judgment. I'm just not sure that Amy's such a good idea. You warning me off? Just offering some friendly advice. Look, Moira, I like working for you, but what I do in my spare time is nobody's business but my own. I thought you'd stood us up. And after all that begging... Gone to find his next one, has I? Uh, who's doing what, sorry? Oh, he's got the box. Just the other day, I was in my bed. Yeah, it moves fast. Oh, no. That was just... That's just weird, is what it is. You don't do that to someone and talk about keeping it close to home. Why don't you go a spine and start telling people where they stand, yeah? So we're good? No, we're not good. You still are here with me when you slept with her? Yeah. Creep. You kind of just treat women like they're some sort of disposable hot dog buns. You're mad. You're right. I'm livid. <gasps> but now I feel a bit better. I am so mad. Nate, hey, let me help you. Morning. Oh, you're bright-eyed and bushy-tailed today. Eventful time in the pub yesterday, so I hear. What? That you're a bit of a player and the whole pub got to hear about it. Hiya. All right. And are you OK to crack on with everything else once you finish your cuppa? Yeah. Thanks. Fancy one, Amy? No. Nice line. Wheel it off to Tracy, did you? You really reckon I want to date someone who sleeps around? No. But that's not what I'm about, I swear. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Can't we just forget about it and make a fresh start? See, you're not saying no, are you? 
I'm not saying yes either. Come on, can't we just go for a drink? Come on, Kane, stop shutting me out. Okay, so I messed up, but you've messed up worse. Moira. What? Yours. Thank you. Don't kid yourself that like you've got me. We spent most of the day together. That seems pretty got. Nah, I've just got nowhere better to be. Grab your stuff, we're going back to yours. In your monkey caravan now. Come on. <laughs> Farmhand, like you would have a bit more stamina. Get back in bed and I'll show you stamina. Well, Mr. Slice of Bread, next time I'll get stuff in. Oh, next time. You all romantic, you. Uh, Moira, I didn't know you were here. Sorry. I just I stayed in the caravan and ended up a notch on his bed. It's not like that. We didn't cause trouble we came before. No? Oh, very much. Lost that when I got attacked by a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> First mate's job then. Stop bleeding now. Okay. See you later. Right. Hey, there was no need for that. But it's trouble. If I were you, I'd get rid. Well, you're not me. Dodgy quarters. <laughs> He's a funny kid. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt. Nate, are you busy? Uh, no. Uh, Pete's fallen in sick. Where's King? Um, he's in Scotland, apparently. But th that's okay, because I only need to juggle two kids and run a meat farm. Do a, a couple of extra hours. What's it worth? I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, no problem. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. Aww. Working hard, I see. Technically, it is his day off. Well, you're obviously busy. I'll just go and give the agency a call. Moira, clocking on again right now. Not right now. All right, I'll put my shoes on first. Listen, I I'm sorry, but there just aren't enough hours in the day. And... I'll do as many hours as you want. You just say the word. That's good to know. <clears throat> right, uh, OK, well, thanks anyway. I'll try and find someone else. Bye. The hay baler's playing up. I'm trying to find someone to come and take a look at it. And? Kane would normally sort it. Could always give me a go. Take a chance. With the hay baler. No, thank you. Ouch. I'm sorry, but it's best you know that I'm not easily taken in. Come on. What are you doing? Sorry, I, um, used your shower. Thought I'd be done by the time you got back. Evidently. And it was a hot day. Said I'd meet Amy later. <clears throat> Yeah, well, next time use Amy's bathroom instead of mine. Right. I think your clothes are waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs>